Welcome GibbsCam users. Today we're going to show you five of the many enhancements that will be coming out in version 2022, which will be released in October 2021. So let's get started. Our first enhancement is going to be Section View. Okay, for our first enhancement, which is Section View, you can see I have a pretty complicated part here lots of holes and features. Now we've always been able to make the part transparent just by clicking on the part. Let's just show you that. Go into user color and uh, we'll just make this slider here transparent and click on our part and now you can see our part is kind of transparent. So if you want to see through the part that's a good way to uh, to do that but we want to show you section view so I'm just going to highlight my part go back to here and basically turn that back off so it's solid again. So here I have four coordinate systems here. We're just going to start with the XY coordinate system. And there's a new icon now up here. If I hover over that, you'll see it says Show Section View. So by activating that and holding down the Control and Alt key, you're going to see that, let's activate this first, hold down the Alt and Shift key, and you're going to see we have a grid there. You could turn it on or off. Control Alt. And you can drag this grid and drag it down through your part. And it's going to section that as you go. So you can kind of get an idea of what you want to look at in a particular plane. You can also go to a certain distance. I have a point here on, on this um, part here so if I wanted to say look at the section right through here I can just hold down the keys again the control and alt key right click and go to section depth and here I could highlight this hold down the alt key click on this point for instance click apply and you can see it brings it down right to that section there so really nice enhancement it can be on any plane that you would like let's go to the YZ plane you can see Again, Control Alt, you can drag that through your part. YZ plane. And of course, you can do any plane that you would like. I have one on 45 degree, and you could see that as well. So, extremely nice uh, enhancement there. Section view. Number two enhancement, align edge to CS. Okay, here is our second enhancement, which is align edge to CSH, which is horizontal. So you can see our part here is kind of skewed. It probably goes on an assembly, and that's the way it came in when we were sent the model. So. We want to machine this, say, on our 3-axis vertical, for instance. It can be, of course, any machine, but let's just use 3-axis vertical as their sample. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, we want to align this uh, flat area here parallel with our table. So easy to do that. Just click on this. Make sure face selection is on. Click on this face. Right-click and click on Align Face to CS. I go back to the isometric view. You can see it is aligned to my plane. Now if I go to the top view you're going to see it's kind of skewed the other way still so instead of trying to figure out the angle or make another plane and have it rotate to that let's just go to isometric view here a little bit turn on edge selection select this edge and right click a new button that says align edge to CSH once we do that turn off edge selection go back to top view and let's just do a shrink wrap. And you can see now our part is aligned up perfectly. Of course, you can move your origin where you'd like to, but it is aligned now in the horizontal axis and nice and flat with the plane. So that's the second enhancement, align edge to CS8. So very nice enhancement as well. Enhancement number three, extrude with taper.
So in this enhancement, it is extrude with taper. Now in the past, we could only extrude a taper in one direction, but now they've enhanced that to allow you to do it in both directions. I don't use this very often, but uh, advanced uh, users might use it a little more often. Let's go to our solids palette, create solid, and extrude. Now we could always in extrude in the Z plus, Z minus, but when you clicked on the taper button in the past, the Z minus disappeared. So now we can actually go both directions. So if we want to go three quarters up in the Z and minus say an inch there with the 10 degree taper, you can see now we have a taper, both directions. Of course, you could do a positive as well. Select your shape, and you can see now it goes both directions. So very nice and handy, um, especially for advanced users. And that's it for enhancement number three. Okay, enhancement number four is called Multi-Pool Extrude. This is probably one of my favorite enhancements out of the five. And let's show you this one. Okay, enhancement number four, Multi-Pool Extrude. Like I mentioned, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, here we have a, a part here, just geometry. And for those that uh, create solid models on Gibbs, this will be a really nice enhancement for that. So first of all, let's just take our part here and let's just extrude it down an inch. Okay, this is called uh, multi-pull. So now we can extrude multiple uh, pieces of geometry at the same time. So for instance, let's select this one, this one, and this one. And let's extrude it up... Um, half inch and nothing down below and as you can see they are all added together so let's add these two together while we're at it okay that becomes a one lump body okay now we have this one here this one here this one here that we want holes so let's go up about an inch and maybe minus an inch and a 100 would be okay all right, let's take this and let's subtract all three of those. And now you can see we have a hole through there. Okay, and the last one, let's select this one and this one. Let's just use the same numbers there. It'll be okay. And you can see those are one lump. And we extrude both of them at the same time. Let's take our solid, extract those out of there. And let's turn off our geometry and our dimensions. And you can see... We have our part there so very nice feature i really like this one that you can now extrude multiple uh, pieces of geometry and of course add and subtract like we always have but uh, to be able to do multiple pieces of geometry at the same time is a really nice enhancement so uh, thumbs up for enhancement number four and so our last enhancement out of the five is called create plane Let's show you this one. Okay, and so for our last enhancement is create plane. Now before, um, if you work with solids or surface models, sometimes you might bring in a surface model and you need to cap it off to make it a solid, or you're missing some uh, parts in the surface that may have holes in that. Before you had to create a uh, plane, and then use geometry and trim it and then stitch it back up. So this makes it a lot easier to uh, cap models or uh, fix bad surface models. So here I have just uh, some geometry here and this icon is right here and it should bring up plane. And so you don't necessarily need to be on the uh, uh, coordinate system or plane to create it. You can just double click the shape, the geometry, click on plane, and it automatically creates a surface and trims it for you. So very nice, and uh, let's do a few others here. 
Zoom that up. Maybe this one. Of course, it needs to be a closed shape. But other than that, very nice. And of course, if you don't uh, select any geometry, it just, of course, creates a plane. And then you could uh, trim that if you want, if you had some geometry to trim it with uh, some of these buttons down here on the menu. But uh, nice enhancement as well. And that's it for the first five. We have many more to go, so stay tuned and uh, we'll put out some more next week. Thank you for watching.